Do you want to talk about it? You can talk about it if you want to talk about it. I understand. How do you even... I can't. Like, the real weird thing about this guy is that his feet are like this big. Audrey here at Ripley's, believe it or not. We are in the warehouse, the workspaces where they make all of the molds for the original figures that go into the Ripley's, believe it or not, museums. Today, we are here to watch somebody go through the actual process of having their body molded. So we're gonna go and check out the vampire woman being immortalized today. Uh, we've never done a wax figure through a translating team, which you know is very difficult for the photographers, for the sculptors not to be able to talk to who they're working on. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, Maria is literally one of a kind. Uh, she's probably the world's most unusual woman. Where did you find Maria? How did you discover her and then decide to bring her likeness uh, over to Ripley's? Well, we had uh, a, a report of her. We, we actually have a museum in Guadalajara, Mexico, where she's from. And we had people working for us in Guadalajara that had originally told us about her. So it wasn't until about three months later that we actually met her. And um, we had just done Eric Sprague, the Lizard Man, and we're looking for an unusual woman to go with the most unusual man. And it was a no-brainer. Your look is very unique. It's incredibly unique. Did you model yourself after any fictional vampires, or how did you come up with this specific look? Mira, en realidad nunca ha sido como que el afán de, de parecerte tanto a un vampiro, simplemente todo lo que ves es mi, 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 mi imagen propia creada por mí y bueno, la asimilan como la mujer vampiro. What do you hope people will feel or think about you when they see your likeness at Ripley's? Bueno, a mí me encanta porque es trascender de alguna manera la inmortalidad. Bueno, tú sabes, Ripley es algo que todo el mundo conoce. Y bueno, yo estoy encantada de esto y más que nada de ser perpetuo eternamente contando una historia. Uh, we spent, uh, I don't know, four or five hours with her yesterday and seems to be perfectly normal. She has a dark sense of humor and a little bit of gothic clothing going on, obviously. Uh, she's intelligent, she's clever, she's very artistic, she makes all her own costumes, all her own jewelry. Uh, and she's, she's got a sweetheart. So I heard you say earlier that Maria's likeness is going to be in Orlando first. Um, and where will she follow? Where will people be able to see her after that? and we hope to get three figures into Mexico, Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Veracruz, probably pretty quick after. Uh, once they make the first one, the second, third, and fourth go pretty easy. Uh, well, we're with Orlando Attractions Magazine, so I would be a terrible reporter if I didn't ask you, are you going to go to any theme parks while you're in town? In the time that you're going to be here, do you think you're going to go to a park of attractions, like the parks of Disney, Epcot, and those sitios? Me hubiera gustado, pero vengo con muy poco tiempo ya que tengo muchos compromisos ahorita en varias partes. Sí. Yeah. Well, yeah, they all the kind of parts she doesn't have the time. She needs to fly back away tomorrow, but she love it in the future. Thank you so much. We hope you have a good time in Orlando, and I'm excited to see your model when it's all finished.